So this follows on his second lesson. You can see that uh, he could hit the golf ball, and I've joked with him that his superpower was rhythm because he had awesome rhythm, could get the club to the ball, but it wasn't a very strong strike. So first lesson, we worked on some structure, and he did a great job, and he came back, and he showed that he'd worked hard. Now let's get started with the second lesson. So you feel the club touching the ground a little bit first. So put the ball, so give me a little narrower stance. Turn your feet out a little bit each, just, just a bit more. So turn, yeah, flare them out a little bit more. Okay. Go ahead and hit one or miss one for me. Take a look where you think this is going to land, give or take. Does that match your eye a little bit better? Yeah. Good. Okay. So, keep going. Okay, so good. Watch me hit this one. Watch my right foot. Watch my right leg and right side, okay? Where do you notice my knees right now? Yeah, and how about... How about... See where my, my foot's pretty vertical? And the momentum after, you know, after I hit the ball, where'd my right, yeah, where'd my right thigh and knee kind of go? Where did I go relative to where my foot was, to where it is now? See that girl over there? Yeah. See your right leg? Okay. Even on these shorties that are going, I mean, if it's a green side little guy, yeah, maybe you won't have that momentum, right? But anything like this is going to kind of carry some rotation, move that thigh of yours, let that right foot bank onto its side, eventually up onto its toe. Okay, so turn those feet out a few degrees each. Take a look where you're going. There you go. That's better. Good. Give me a few of those. Know where you're going before you get there. Good idea when you're driving somewhere? Right? Same thing here. Okay, see yourself in your finishing form. Okay, good. Take a look where you're going. So do me a favor. Rather than just kind of set a ball up back out. So yeah, just every one of these, okay? Don't just keep your feet plunked in here. Okay. Left hand grip. Pair your right hand to it. Watch my right foot. Right foot steps closer to the ball so that I can take the triangle of my two arms and club and kind of tap the grass behind the ball. Aim at the aim down the to the target a little bit and set my feet with a bit of flare, a little bit of waggle. Like right now you're kind of blocked in there like your feet are the first thing. Feet aren't the first thing, feet are the last thing, okay? So give me a right foot step. Good, parry your hands, aim your face, take a look. Good, now set your feet, narrow and flary. Know where you're going and go there with a bit of rhythm. Okay, good try. So where do we touch that one? A little behind the ball? Okay. So what do you think, okay, you can be wrong, what do you think might let a club land here versus at and after impact? Well, man, I could probably look at the ball, like my eye on the ball a little better. Mm, that's also, not, let's not, let's scratch that one off the list of things to do. Okay. Okay. Um, you kind of want to like, you don't want to like scoop at the ball. Like, right. You want to like make it explode off the ground or something. Well, you know, so think about this. This circle, we can, we can do it a couple ways. So I hate, I hate it when my coach asks me these questions. I'm sure these will annoy you. Come on over here for a sec. Okay. So the, the swing's got an arc to it, right? It's not a vertical one. It's not a horizontal one. So there's a Ferris wheel and a merry-go-round, okay? So golf's somewhere between the two. Now that has a bottom. That bottom can be at or after the ball. Now think about if I hit this thing flat-footed, Okay, or maybe I have a little progression of relocation in my rotation to a target, which might help my swing bottom move a little more forward. Does that make a little sense? So a lot of newbies will stand there like this, 50-50, and swing 50-50, and you'll always be bad at golf. Okay? The sensation is we got to let ourself kind of relocate a little bit onto our lead side, which takes that bottom of the circle and, bank and moves it a bit forward to where you can touch the ground, brush the grass. Does that make sense? Okay. The other thing that can blow this is we can, you know, try to help this thing off the ground. Okay, so what you're learning how to do is get your good left hand on there, pair your right hand, 
aim in the face, take a look, set your feet, and then we have to resist the urge to try to help it up in the air. We've got to see if we can't feel the weight of this club, put some stress in our hands, and let that pivot of our body, you know, this the club's going to resist the, the effort to go this way unless we physically do it. And see yourself into this kind of rotated, relocated position on your left foot. Banked, banked foot, knees kind of allowed to kind of come together eventually. Does that make sense? Long uh, analogy? Yeah. Okay, good hands, right foot, aim the face. So before you do that, bud, watch, stay there. No, right where you are is good. Right foot, pair of the hands, aim the face. There you go. Take a look. Awesome. Flare the feet. Wonderful. Go to your finishing form. Okay, good. Don't move. So, awesome. Stay right there. Okay. Really good. Okay, that's good. Say that face going this way is an intent to help something go airborne. That's probably where this face would, the journey of this face would go to here. Start to have this look to it. Okay, nothing crazy. Right yeah, you finished a little bit yeah. under. Yeah, that's a guy trying to help yeah. it up in the air a little bit. You want me to finish here? Yeah, just be aware of it. Okay, let's warm up a bit. Imagine the shape of your circle kind of bottoming out as it collects the ball and brushes the grass. Take a look where you're going, clubs off the ground a little bit. Tap, tap, good. Okay, good try. So I would say that that's probably guilty of this getting longer. And what do I mean by that? When I'm at a dress, and I grip a golf club, okay? I have this math where that orange dot is a certain dimension away from me. When my shoulder's getting closer to the ground and my club's lining up with my wrist, this whole system is a little longer than I want it to be, okay? When I'm moving, watch, when I take this club into a backswing, there's an energy that's required to take it in the backswing, isn't there? So it's going one way, it wants to keep going that way. So once it, once I change direction, Mac, watch. This, this wrist is relaxed, what does it do? Bends. That system actually gets shorter, doesn't it? So as I go to hit a ball, instead of, I don't need to add length by letting my right wrist get, you know, try to flatten. We have to learn how to transport that stress in our hands. Let me explain. Get your good hands on there. Put your right hand on. Okay, good, just stay there. Okay, awesome. Stay right up there. Watch what happens to the club head when I move you. So you, f you, see, you feel the play, the weight of it in your hands? Good. Well, when you change direction, you're going to feel some of that. Okay? As you're kind of working into impact, you know, you can lengthen the system into the ground, or you can start to figure out how this energy doesn't really line up until after impact, and then some overtaking might happen. So you got to start to feel the weight of this thing in your hands and how this weight plays on those hands. We, we like this. We like what? We like this weight. Like, we love we the weight. Like we, exactly. I mean, I always see people at the range, they're always like trying to like do something like that. I, I never really understood it. Well, a lot of those people are misguided because they're doing, watch, watch how hands get delivered. So you stay there, you're good. So once I have my good hands on here, what takes my hands from in front of me to somewhere forward? What's moving right now? Sure it is, okay. Well, my, my knee is, my hips are rotating a little bit. Fair? Okay. When I change direction, doesn't this thing want to, something in motion is going to stay in motion? Fair? So once I go back one way and I change direction another. So see how this club plays catch up? Like this is our buddy lagging behind here. He's, we're, we're out with him. Where the hell is Bob? Bob's, he's like falling behind, right? The club head falls behind. Let it. Our pivot transports this. Those folks that are doing a bunch of this stuff, they don't really realize that that's that's not their job. All their job is to kind of make, kind of be aware of the weight of this thing, let the weight stress their hands, let their pivot deliver these good angles. Okay, and this is just you learning how to rhythmically do this, which you will. You just haven't had formal coaching yet. So eyes on the ball. Miss a few, hit a few. Really doesn't matter. It's all good. Take a look where the ball could go. Right. Expect the weight of the club to hit your hands as you go to your finish. Okay, looks pretty nice. Good. Okay, walk out, walk in. Give me a left hand only. 
a step, a pairing, and then an aiming. Good. Take a look. Feel the weight of the club hit on your hands as you pivot a little bit. Okay. Pretty nice little outcome. Yeah. Okay, good. Do it again. This time close your eyes. Okay. Close eyes. Yeah. The two things in your head, close them. Okay. You know where the ball is. Nobody's going to come move it, right? But still what? You, you probably missed. That's okay. Put your attention in your hands and what the change is. Close your eyes. Club off the ground. Tap the ground a little bit. Know where the ground is. Okay. Good. Keep your eyes closed. Miss. It's okay. Okay. Did you miss? Okay. I'm not fast enough for everybody to come down there. And now, you're doing great. Now, how could you hit this? This is really nice. Let's um, grab a stronger club. Grab like an 8 iron. So now we have less loft in our hands, agreed? So should the ball go as high if we use the same energy? It will go as high? Well, it there's goes less loft, but... There's less, less loft. So if we move if we move the club the same speed we just moved the previous club, will the ball go as high? Good. Yay. Said it with conviction. I like it. Show me what that looks like. Don't the club itself should make it go a little lower. Agreed? Show me. Put the weight of the club in your hands, get set up. Pair the hands, aim the face, set the feet. Take a look where you're going. Club off the ground. Tap tap. No, you can open your eyes. Put the weight of the club in your hands, swing it. Okay, good try. So a little bit uh, contact with a little goofy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about we're a little bit more courageous as, on this next one? Watch. The idea is that it's not our job to take the club from starting form and return it to the ball. Watch what this looks like. Looks different because my torso, my pivot's delivering something that doesn't want to go that way. What does that force do to my hands? Bends them back a bit, doesn't it? What does a baseball do to a pitcher's arm? Bends it. Yeah. I set you up for the answer. Yeah. But did you say that with conviction? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Good. Okay. Eyes on the ball. Mind in your hands. Tap the grass. Expect the club to stress you a little bit in the good sense. Take a look where you're going. Atta boy. Okay, little little chunky form looks nice. Low that point, that's well, yeah, questionable. Okay, I'll give you you know for a newbie, I'd say that hey the swing shape looks good, but we can't kind of touch the stuff behind the ball very much. If we do, we reduce the strike, right? So we got to have a bit more courage. So hold this club up here for a second, just like me. Pair the hands, get that left arm in front of you, right hand on there, nicely good. Your hands a little twisted high on top. Pair it a little bit more to the right. So, sure. so hang on. Left hand looks nice. Put it on there. You got it. Put the right hand on. Okay. This right hand's just a bit more that way, and this thumb a bit more restfully over okay, here. Gotcha. Okay. Now, when you change direction, bud. Okay. You're going back. You're like, oh, it's time to go the other way. You feel how this weight's going to stress your hands? Here's what all golfers that struggle for the long term do. They kind of stall this. And they try to whap here. Okay. You got to have an, a little bit more courage to rotate a little bit. And know that impact and address are slightly different places. That, in fact, at impact, the right arm is actually bent a bit, just a little bit, because it was bent in developing a backswing. And it's bent on your way to act actively straightening it, but it really doesn't get straight until there, and then momentum kind of subsides after. Okay? So let's see if we can't aim the face, take a look, put the weight of the club in our hands. See if we can collect this ball with a bit of pivot and see if we can get our low point to touch at and after the ball. If we can, great. If we can't, it's okay. Okay, so very crispy, right? Nice solid shot. Long way for the little swing. Excellent. Good. Do it again. Eyes on the ball. 
mind in the weight of the club that's going to get stressed in your hands. Club off the ground. Find that nice measure from the sole of the golf club to your kind of maximum height. Okay, good try. Why'd you miss? I don't know. I mean, it's good. I don't I really... Like I hit it like right here. You did. Thank you. That was a great answer. You didn't lift your head. You just caught it a bit on the neck. Yeah. Okay. So now, let's let's make this a little bit better. As we, as we have it in our left hand, and you step in and then pair the hands, aim the face, set the feet, pick the club up, and what am I doing here? A waggle. A waggle. Why am I doing it? putting the weight of the club in my hands so that I'm prepared when I change direction for my hands to expect it. Take a look. Okay. Pick it up, waggle it a bit. Okay. That's a little spastic. That's okay though. Let me come in and help you with that. So watch a waggle. Stand right here, would you? Yeah. Put your big toe right there. Okay, good. So, um, actually, put the put your right uh, left foot right there. Awesome, right right by the ball. Okay. So watch a waggle. Okay, I'm not gonna hit you. So see how there's pressure shifting in the feet. Nothing goes to the left of the ball, i.e. your leg, right? So if your ball, if your if the side of your foot's the ball, I'm finding a measure. Tap tap. Little heel taps, little waggle. Club head works away from the ball, putting the weight of the club in my hands. Okay, give it a go. Pick it up. Yeah. Take a look where you're going when you're doing it. Get a feel for it. Hit it or miss it. Okay, really good. Excellent. Good. Do it again. It's fantastic. Okay. So, gripping it, there's your wrist joint. It's vertical. That's turned. You with me? Good. When you grip it, the left wrist is softly bent back. So, what I see with you is a little bit of gripping for comfort rather than a little bit of function because what we want is this wrist to have this ability for that thing to kind of lag behind us a little bit in the act of catching up. And when it's a little bit more on top, the face gets a little bit stronger. When you do eventually hit it, the loft comes off and the face tends to point at the target a bit more. When we grip it for comfort, that leg tends to have the face pointed too far to the right. Does that make sense? Okay, so feel as though that wrist joint, okay, is immediately on top of the grip. Good. And the heel pad's on top. Awesome. When you put your right hand on, you have a little bit of a tendency to go a little bit too much over the top. Just a little bit pair to that left hand. And then let that right thumb restfully sit on the left side of the grip. Okay. So step to the ball. Right foot step. Pair the hands. Aim the face. Take a look. Good. Okay. Set the feet. Waggle, waggle. Waggle, waggle. Okay, so watch when you waggle. You gotta be cooler than that. A little bit. Okay. That's spastic. Watch. That's okay. So right like you don't want to knock the ball, right? But see here's what you can do. Get set. Why don't why don't I hit the ball? Yeah, so what did I do? What did I do with my hip hinge? I stood up a bit. Now I'm not too worried about the ball because it's not in the way. And I'm looking where I'm about to hit it. You know? You like you know, does the batter look here or does he look at the pitcher, right? So, you know, take a look, and if you want, look at a pitcher. The pitcher's about to wind up, you know, you got to get ready to hit it, okay? So, step in, pair the hands, aim the face. You know, lose a bit of hip hinge so you're a couple inches above the ball. So stand up a bit, there you go, that looks a lot cooler. Chick stick that, set the club behind the ball, okay? Anticipate the leg on the hands and hit it. Only perfect, man. Good. Okay, that is fantastic. Good, do it again. So now, you know, you're not going near full speed, but you're doing a great job. Feels good. Good.
Okay, get the wrist joint on top. There you go. Yeah, pair the right hand. Take a look. Good. Hit on, you know, lose a bit of hip hinge. No waggle, just a little. Take a look. Awesome. Tip over. Anticipate the club stressing you as you pivot. Really good. So the ball started a little bit more right than we wanted to. That's okay. 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 Take a look. Get set. Stand up a tick and, and waggle, waggle. Good. Tap, tap. Take a look. Hit it. That looks like golf. Very much like golf. Good, do that again. Now you can, to hit, to play really nicely, like that would play really nicely. That's not at your speed ceiling, not even close. But to get up to your speed ceiling, it doesn't, you don't have to think way, way bigger. You can think a little bit more brisk. A little bit more brisk one way, lengthens the backswing a bit, puts a bit more torsion on the body. A little bit more brisk the other way, awesome. Don't think it just, you know, size. Think of just a little bit more briskness that will stretch you more. Show me that awesome routine. Take a look. Good, stand up, waggle, waggle. There you go, tap, tap. Take a look, hit it. Really nice, your dad should be this good. Talked to him today, actually. Yeah, he told me. Yeah. He said he learned some interesting stuff about pads or something. Yeah, he's all fired up. He called me out. Get that wrist joint on top. Good. Cool. So we're going to do a little bit of a technique session, okay? In this little, in our, so far you're doing amazing. Now stand up, waggle, waggle. Okay. Tap, tap. Okay. Take a look. Hit it. That's all right. You got it on the hawse a little bit, right? On the what? Right here? Yeah, the necky part? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, notice I said that a little bit more up-tempo? Right? Like I said, okay, tap, tap, take a look. Like, you can change your speed just by kind of the sense and intent on the ball. Like, a driver intent is you're going to step in, and it's going to be like, I'm going to smash you, but you're going to do the same routine. It's just going to be with, like, a, you know, you're ready for smashing. Whereas a wedge, you know, a hundred yard wedge shot's a lot more peaceful, a lot calmer. The waggle's softer. The pressure into the ground's a little softer. The driver's a little bit more like, okay, I'm gonna mash you. You use pressure a little harder. So start to see, like, like in golf swings, you know, you've got like 14 drivers, maybe, okay? You're, you'll hit it far, so maybe, maybe 10 drivers, maybe a three wood, and a couple of like hybrids on par fours. You with me? Then you'll have four par threes, and you might have to hit something long and a couple wedges and a mid iron, right? But all those have a story to them. The driver is the same story. It's the athletic event, the biggest one in golf. You send it. Hitting a 100 yard wedge shot, it's more peaceful. You know, it's a little slower. The waggle is a little softer. It's, you know, it doesn't take much physical energy to hit it 100 yards at the pitching wedge. So start to see that, the rhythm of the whole thing. Okay, good par five. Let's go, right? Make sure there's nothing out there that'll kill you make a choice maybe there's OB or water maybe you don't hit driver but usually you will in those holes yeah. okay so now come back here for a second take a look kind of parallel to your barber pole your aim stick right this is you choosing a club we'll get into a bit of a technique piece for this part of this session okay now walk in pre-gripped so walk in get a little too far from your work okay right foot step pair of the hands good take a look set the feet Elevate a bit, waggle, waggle. Okay, come back to the ball, tap, tap, take a look and hit it. Okay, lovely. Okay, really good. Okay, so I'm going to save that. You did great. Now let's get into a little bit of a mind bender here, okay? Okay, bud. So you did great. We did a little bit of routine pieces. We talked waggle. The rhythm of a shot, like when you watch those videos that precede this one, okay, see the rhythm of this, okay, so as you hit little shots, come on over here for a sec, 
you know, you get a ball in play, hope your lies this nice and you're in a flat spot in the fairway. That's not typical. That's why practicing on flat ground all the time, kind of a waste of time. And that's why the waggle and routine's a big deal. So this event that happens behind the golf ball, this is the big thing that's going to help the technique piece we're going to do right now. So you had a lot of like flat shoulder turn, eye line, looking all over the place. That's why I give you those funky glasses. Okay, and then we're going to work hard on shoulder pitch and really kind of looking over your left shoulder. So go ahead and look over your left shoulder right now, like really. So you have a good mobility over your left shoulder. That's no problem. Okay, so your backswing priming feel, what you do prior to a shot, is going to be to kind of crisply look over a left shoulder. And then you're going to walk into the shot. I would do it a little farther back, but I want to be in frame. So when you walk in, you're going to be a little too far away from the ball. Okay. Take a step, pair the hands, aim the face, take a look. Okay. Set the feet, elevate, waggle, waggle. Tap, tap. Take a look. I had another little waggle in there. Let's hit a shot. Okay, let's let the ball go. And then see how you take the club and kind of put it in your holster right here. Okay, so pew, club goes around you, recovers. So here's the thing running out of its energy, recovers, holster, good, bad, or indifferent. Okay, so let's prime this thing. Here's the ball. We're going to hit it. And the reason I said like these flat lies and why, what you, why you're doing what you're doing is all bad golfers are going to stand here and clip daisies and think, okay, I'm, I got it. I got my measure. I just clipped a daisy perfectly. I'm ready. Right? But is the golf world, is it all the same? No, it's roly-poly, uphill, downhill, all over the place, okay? So whether the ball is on a hill here or below my feet six inches or wherever the ball is, you got to learn how to get this thing in your hands and be able to kind of tap grass without relying on the earth at all because the earth is, could be anywhere relative to you when you play golf, real golf, not this thing, what we call training. Does that make sense? Okay. Come on in. So here's the priming feel. So just get in frame right here and face me. Okay, face me. Good. Get your good hands on. That wrist joint is right on top. That right hand is paired to. Okay, not twisted over. Good. So now feet are going to be flared just a hint more. Awesome. So this is a backswing. Ready? Make a backswing. Look over your left shoulder. Good. And notice how you had a, your intent was to, to pull this a bit. Okay, feel like this. If I was coming in for a kiss, don't let me get to you, right? Did you see that on Instagram? Good, that's my point, right? So the backswing is a little bit of a gentle push. A gentle one. Keep Aunt Marge away from putting that lipstick on you, okay? Yeah. Or golf coach Martin. So relax just a sec. Get the heel pad on there, nice. Awesome. Pair that right hand too, not over. Thumb relaxes there. Okay, money. Good, now look over your left shoulder with a bit of width. Okay, wonderful. Don't look, you get me? Okay, now swoosh to a finish. Let it go all the way around you. Rebound. And then holster. Yeah, it's not quite holstered. Holster. Let the, ah, there you go. Good. Yeah, you'll get you'll get used to that, okay? Now let's hit a couple or miss a couple. Let's make life a little easier. Hold on a sec. Because we're going to add a bit of speed to this. I'm going to put the ball in a peg. Early part of the session, we did a little low point control stuff. Understanding that... You know, every good swing has a little bit of relocation with rotation. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. It's in there. You'll watch it later. I know. You'll watch it five times. Right? Yeah. Sure. All right, so let's walk in there with a good left hand. Okay. Good. Take a look. Awesome. Set the feet. Okay. Elevate. Waggle. Okay. Tap, tap. There's really nothing to tap there. Good. Okay, look over your left shoulder in your backswing. Wonderful. And holster. Good. It was really good. So you kind of put the brakes on a little early, right? So yeah. that was awesome, though. But you can let this energy kind of keep on going, let it dissipate, rebound, and then holstering looks like this. Okay, so you kind of got to learn how to do this first. Don't let it smash your knuckles. Right? And then you get good at it, you go. Okay. It's, here you go. Do it again. That was great. That looks remarkably better than last lesson, so way to go. Routine.
Good. Waggle, waggle. Good. Tap, tap. Look over your left shoulder. Okay, yeah. Almost. Almost. Okay, so watch again. It's okay, you'll get it. Go stand right there. So this thing's got all this energy, right? So you waggle, waggle to put the weight of the club in your hands. There's energy developing in the backswing, so you can look over your left shoulder rather than what you used to do is move your eye line way over, right? That's way better, by the way. Now this thing's going to have a ton of, you know, counter rotation to it. Whew. Rebound. Right, relaxed. Elbows kind of in front. Okay, here you go. So far, you're doing amazing. Walk in, show me that routine. Pre-gripped, wonderful. Walk in, little too far away. Pair of the hands, excellent. Take a look, feet, good. Waggle, waggle. Oh boy. Tap, tap. Take a look, look over that left shoulder. And realize, there you go. Awesome. Golf-like. Good. So we, pro, you know, you've done a couple in a row with a bit of help. Let's see how our low point control is with no help. There you go. Okay. Good. Elevate. Waggle, waggle. Awesome. Tap, tap. Take a look. Look over the left shoulder. Okay. Rebound. Relax. Holster. Good. I'd say style points. The Russian judge maybe gives you six. Canadian judge, seven. U.S. judge, eight. Okay. We can do better. But really good. Nice stuff. The French judge was having a coffee and a croissant, didn't even see it. Okay, show me. Walk in. Right foot. Aim the face. Set the feet. Take a look. Elevate, waggle, waggle. Awesome. Tap, tap. Left shoulder. Okay. What'd you feel? What'd you sense? Dismissed? Yeah, dismissed. Good. Okay. That's fine. Okay, pretty good. So routine pieces, you know, ball squared out to right field, but routine pieces were awesome. Like really good, like you're right on the rhythm of it. So in your head, that routine is money. And that routine is gonna get you through like to reasonably high level golf. I mean, I've been doing it when I've been playing. Good. It helps. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it again. That was great. I'm gonna be a little bit harder on you technique wise though. Keep going. Routine, you're getting a solid A. It's all right. A little bit of a clean up aisle five, right? Okay. So, as you get into bigger swings, this eye line starts to go from someone looking at the golf ball to a pretty significant move. I'm going to say 45 degrees to the right, and we're getting a little long, a little complex with the wrist angles and stuff, okay? Now, you don't have to get way longer to hit it way harder. You can have a shortish, more, you know, a bigger counter rotation with a stronger, shorter backswing. And I want you to do it by kind of managing what you see. That's why we put you in those crazy glasses last time. So I'm going to now go ahead and do this routine with me. And you're going to miss a few, and it's absolutely okay. I'm just going to pay close attention to what your eyes do, okay? So walk in, okay, good. This is great, take a look, awesome. 
Elevate, waggle, waggle. Okay, good. Look over that left shoulder and hit it. No, no, I'm just going to be your anchor here. Look over that shoulder harder. Go for it. Look over. Okay, good try. So it's weird on some dude's hands there, right? Let's yeah. do it again. And do me a favor, prime this right here. So right here, club face me. Priming's facing me. Club off the ground a little bit. Good. Club off the ground. Good. Now take, make a backswing and really look over your left shoulder. No, no, not now. Yeah. During during the motion. Okay. Good. Now see the sense of pull. Give me that gentle sense of push. That's even too much push. Right. Keep Aunt Marge from getting on you there. Okay. Do that again. So keep Aunt Marge away and look over your left shoulder. That a boy. That's a golf swing. Good. Do it again. So if you prime this right, you know, like regularly. It'll start to work its way into your comfort zone. Okay. Okay. Club off the ground. Elevate, waggle, waggle. Okay. Tap, tap. Take a look. Okay, not bad. How'd it feel? I, don't know. I forgot about the shoulder. I just, That's okay. I was about the push. You got a lot going on, yeah. dude. You're doing amazing. You're doing fantastic. Okay, prime it right there. Come on, lots of rehearsals. Okay. Pushy, look over that shoulder. That a boy, do it again. And Marge, left shoulder. Good, do it again. When you do that, you don't have to get shorter, okay? So left shoulder can go down, you can keep your elevation, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good, stay tall, left shoulder. Good, and Marge, beautiful. So maybe your thoughts just simply Aunt Marge, right? Something easy, funny, right? Elevate, waggle, waggle. Okay, tap, tap, take a look, Aunt Marge. Okay. So, I'm seeing pretty damn good job, the chunkers, right? So how about, you know, when you see, when you walk in and take this step and pair the hands and set the club and take a look, so far you're fantastic. And then you're up here elevating, waggle, waggle. Then you kind of set it down, then you kind of get a little bit, a little bit too close to things, in my opinion. Okay. The ground can be more electric to you, like, zzz, you see, you know, be a little bit more respectful of this tap, tap, so you don't shock yourself. Like, the club doesn't rest on the ground. So, waggle, waggle, no, no worry about hitting the ball. You know, so the feels for you, you know, looking over that left shoulder with, you know, keeping Aunt Marge away from you, right? Because what I want to avoid is all that stuff that you had in the previous lesson. You've cleaned that up a ton. So you're tracking amazingly well. This next bit of progress for you is like the hard work. Like it's the painful stuff. The priming is the key, man. Getting these rehearsals in and being very mindful of looking over the shoulder rather than letting your head look 45 degrees to the right, okay? Yeah. Good, show me. Good. Stay tall, Aunt Marge. Swoosh. Good. And good. Do that again. And then maybe even holster right there. Like, like rehearse this. When I say swoosh, like speed down. You can go to Aunt Marge and slow down, right? And then swoosh like crazy. Good. Rebound. Holster. Good. Let's let a ball get in the way of that. Okay, really good. Really good. So what's happening with the ball? A little I didn't see it. It was nice though. Okay. Solid. I mean, it felt like it came off like 
If I had a gas, I'd probably say it was somewhere over there. A little right, yeah, a little, you know, basically delivered a little too much law for the open face. So we've got to learn how to kind of... No, it's good, and I like the fact that you're the tap tap. You know, you got to be respectful. Like you probably were a guy that you know trying to get under the ball at some point in your golf development. We're never trying to get under it, ever. Okay, we're just taking this swing in this thing, and we happen to touch it on the way to a bottom. And the bottom is only a few inches ahead of the ball, and the bottom is the end of out. And so here, let me have the club and don't move. Here's a club traveling in a horizontal plane parallel to the ground. Here's a club that just went to the end of out. It's as far out as it goes. Then it goes around me in, doesn't it? When I tip over, here's a club going down to the end of out. The end of out's the bottom of a divot, which isn't much. And it's after the ball, after we touch the ball, and then it works back up and in, okay? Let's not set ourselves up too close to the end of out because that might be a problem. Yeah. Walk in, do it again. Pr always, man. Whenever you have time on the golf course, prime it. If you don't, you know, walk in and hit it. But if, if you can afford to prime it and your guys are goofing off and you have a second, I prime every shot. Club off higher off the ground when you prime, like six inches. Yeah, look over your left shoulder and Marge, wonderful. Swoosh, yeah, you can swoosh way better than that, come on. Okay, like, like cut my legs off over here. Like literally go Aunt Marge. Okay, go Aunt Marge on me. Left, sh look over your left shoulder. Are you with me? There was a post on Instagram that was crazy. Now, if you wanted to, you could injure the daylights out of me, right? I want you to have that feeling like you can get after it onto the other side, recover and holster. Okay, so watch the recovery. Whew, rebound, boom, holster. Okay, Aunt Marge. Left shoulder. Ah, it's not left shoulder enough with your face. That is. Do it again. Left shoulder. Good. Aunt Marge, rip it. Rebound, holster. And you can take another half second there. Watch. You don't have to get, you don't have to try to put it in the holster so fast. Let it come back. Here, one, one thousand, holster. Okay? Good. Aunt Marge. Look over your left shoulder more. Thank you. Rip it. That's not ripped. Come on, dude. I want some sound, man. Swoosh. Club off the ground. Look over that shoulder. And Marge. Swoosh. boy. And then there you go. Yay. Good. Do it again. Do it to a ball. Yep. Walk in with that awesome routine. Aim the face. Elevate, waggle, waggle, tap, tap, take a look, and Marge. Okay, so high, high and right. You lost your high line there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yep, yep, yep. It's okay. Let's do it again. Okay. Look over the shoulder. Even look more. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. If you see what I'm saying, you probably feel like you're looking to your left during your backswing. You know, like looking over your left shoulder and looking to your left. Good. Do it again. Club off the ground. Okay, t good. Look over your left shoulder. Good, and even feel like you're kind of looking more that way. You know, and your chin can go into your, sh your your chin can get a little buried there. You don't have to be like this, dude. A lot of good players, their chin comes in, their shoulder comes into their chin a little bit. Okay. Good, and Marge, look over that shoulder. Hang on, don't move. Okay, she's going to get awfully close to you here. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Swoosh. Okay. Cool. Let's save that. Let's do the next little piece. We're going to kick a field goal here and knock out that foam thing. Like a full swing? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're, yeah, you're swing. 
Same, same stuff, good routine, waggle, waggle. Show me how you look over your left shoulder, right? Club off the ground, come on. Good, tap, tap, take a look, Ant Marge. Okay, how close to the target did you get? Pretty high, pretty high, okay. So let me have the club. If it's gone. Yeah, no, we're gonna get there. You're, you're getting there. Been a little less than a half, dude. It's, I'm not a miracle worker, come on over here. You think I am by watching how you look right now. Okay, so, you know, your priming event, looking over your left shoulder, okay? Not letting your nose go too far to the right with your pivot, okay? The next piece is keep that lip sticky and marge away from you. Look over the left shoulder, okay? So now the next piece is, how do we flight this ball down so we can kind of control trajectory and hit a little farther for our speed? So your walking routine's great, a little too far away. Take a step, pair of the hands, aim the face. Take a look. Waggle, waggle, tap, tap. Take a look, now watch where this ball goes relative to that thing. Holster, pretty close, just narrowly missed. Trajectory was maybe a hair high, okay? So it won't take me long to dial this in, and I don't really, I didn't really set this there specifically, you know, for this club and launch. And by the way, the face is, when it's really dirty like this, the launch can go up because you got a lot of grease in the face, i.e. grass grease, okay? But my point is, we have to learn how to deliver this face a little differently. So as I walk in here, waggle, waggle, okay, tap. Now, as I'm unwinding this, what do you notice about this shaft right here? See how it's leaning forward somewhat? So when I change direction, the club doesn't want to change direction, does it? That's that stress I have to welcome and I have to let my pivot kind of deliver it. So as I kind of aim the face, knowing that my trajectory is gonna be pretty low, and I can get on top of my left foot a little bit. So watch that, the field goal post now. Maybe I hit one like hard and underneath that a little bit more. So that just went barely underneath it, right? So see how you can kind of play around with uh, where these things go? If the face, gets twisted this way, where's the ball gonna go? And probably high as well, agreed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so now let's be mindful of trajectory as we walk in here, you know, pair the hands, aim the face, take a look, wiggle, waggle, tap, tap, take a look, and then, you know, let's see if we can't ant marge and smash this thing. And I was trying to knock it out, I just missed. You know, your, your turn. Yeah. There you go. You gotta try washing those once in a while too. Just for fun. Do what? The washing those clubs. Oh, I washed it yesterday. Oh, cool, good. Okay, walk in. Aim in the face, there you go. Take a look, elevate a little bit, waggle, waggle. Okay, now don't move, okay? So as you go, as this thing works its way back, and you look over the shoulder and marge, right? Think about this, you're gonna kinda get a bit more on top of this leg. These wrists can come down and really knock a low one. Yeah. Rebound, holster, okay? Elevate, waggle, waggle. Awesome. Okay. Where'd that face project the ball? To the left or to the right? Yeah. Okay, so we're delivering. We're taking this thing in here. Just a little bit open. You know, how can we hit this thing lower? Okay, you'll figure it out. Come on in. Yep, pair of the hands. Take, yep, whoa, 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 do that again. Okay, there you go, take, pair, t set it down, take a look. Now set the feet. 
Good. Elevate, waggle, waggle. There you go. Okay, now don't move. See, where do you feel your hands now? See, you see them way left, and it's starting to circle left? Yeah. So good player is the trail arm is bent when you hit it. If the trail arm is bent when, when I hit it, watch. Here's address, impact, address, impact. My pelvis, my rotation is moving my hands forward. My trail arm is trying to get straight. I hit the ball before it actually does. See what I'm showing you? Yeah. Like impact is quite a bit different as far as the trail arm length and trail shoulder location. See my trail shoulder gets closer to what I'm hitting? That's how I can hit it more penetrating lower and not high to the right. Show me. Elevate, waggle, waggle, don't rest the club, tap the grass. That's pretty close, isn't it? See how the head little, I mean, you didn't miss by much, did you? No. So you start to figure out the windows of trajectory, and it's not really about putting the ball farther back, it's about how, we're, how unwound you can be with a club head still relaxed, stressing the hands back. Okay, do it again. Routine pieces, aim in the face. See yourself in a different position. Okay, Aunt Marge, nasty lipstick. You don't have an Aunt Marge, do you? Good. Club up, elevate, waggle, waggle. Okay. Okay. So a lot of elevation. Yeah. Face still a little bit to the right. Not like I hit it like right here. Yeah, a little toey. Okay, so careful too in a, at a dress. Like you don't want to be this like silverback grill in mating season trying to show off. A little, little softer belt line, a little flatter. Okay, feel like you're not like poking your rear end out of the back of a phone booth. Okay, not that you know what a phone booth is, but a little taller, buns on the glass, head on the glass. Red phone booth in London. I think they still have a couple. Show me. Good. Little, f so don't move. Yep. Round off a bit. Round off a bit. There you go. Round off a bit. Up here. S get, get a little sloppier up here. There you go. That's better. Okay, almost, just barely over it, right? Cool, good. So, session's done, okay? Start thinking about the pieces that uh, we're working on. The only real te technique things, right? Is you've done so much better than last time, it's a joke, like you were like Elvis Presley, now your hips are turning. And I just wanna get you to learn how to not let your shoulder turn and body rotation overwhelm where your eyes look, okay? So the sense of some width in this trail in these arms, and let's get used to looking over like how this this neck works, how these eyes look over that shoulder. A little bit of motion is fine, but you get too much of it, okay? And then as you are letting pressure kind of get to your lead side, it's okay to kind of bank yourself, know that you're kind of going into this position of a little bit of relocation while you rotate. And think about if my hands go back up and in on a backswing, okay? If they go back up and in on a backswing, where do they go after the end of out? Over to the left. See what I mean? They don't go straight. What goes back up and in goes down out and forward and then back up and in again. So see the other side of the circle as your backswing, just past impact. Here, one more for me. Knock this damn pillow out, would you? Yeah. Yeah. 
anticipate that stress in your hands, how that how you're going to deliver a more of a bent trail arm in the lower right shoulder, club off the ground, tap, tap. Good, waggle, waggle. Tap, tap. Good, take a look. Okay, so skinny, you, know, you almost got it, only because you boned it though, right? Yeah. Okay. So really good job, bud. Really good job. So routine stuff, keep doing this, and then ping me in a couple of weeks. We'll do another one, all right? Watch this stuff. If you have any questions, post a video. I'll get back to you. Way to go, buddy.